Hey guys, Tony here. I'm at the CDA 2023 Tech Summit and I'm here with my good friend Michael from Crix and he's going to showcase some of the latest offerings that they've got. So over to you, Mike. Thanks, mate. Um, yeah, so we brought a few products with us today. This one's a really new one. Um, very, very new. So this is our new LX7 soundbar, uh, if, if you call it that. It's quite a, um, a large unit, but this is a 75-inch um, version, so it means it's uh, compatible with 75-inch TVs. We have another two versions, so 85-inch and then 100-inch, so it'll fit nicely uh, underneath those TV sizes. Um, and then we can also do custom as well for a small surcharge, so you can actually uh, make it fit exactly to the width of your TV. So yeah, so we brought that one out today. It's um, we, We've really focused on the performance and it's you know, it's like 92 dB sensitivity and handles 250 watts. So out of something, you know, a, a compact cabinet that size, the performance is just huge. Yeah. So we've also tried to focus with that product on making it nice and easy to install. So there's end caps on it that they come off the edges. So you can install uh, the mount to the wall, install that. You can actually angle and tilt the soundbar up the LX7 up or down 15 degrees or if you want to mount it just flush it can get closer to the wall as well so that really helps where people if they do have larger fixed screens projector screens or TVs they can put it underneath it and tilt it up or if the situation arises they need to put it above the display you can angle it down, down as well so it's pretty versatile in that regard we've tried to think about um, how you can mount uh, mount that in as well as install the speaker cable so we've left mounting holes in the mount so you can push the speaker wires through that and they actually go through to the front of the um, speaker so if we go around and have a quick look here you can see um, you can pull that off run the speaker wiring through there terminate nice them push all in terminals. there yeah and then you can slide the uh, click the yep. magnetically see click the, the panel back on there's the hole there and of course it's got a nice Crix badge on the front it does so that makes it nice and easy to actually like uh, hook it up as well. So they're the main sort of um, product features in terms of installation. We've really tried to focus on and make it nice and easy um, because, yeah, that's got to be easy to install as well. So, of course. Yeah. So we've also got this amplifier here, which I've also got in my room and I've shown in a video, KA1100. Yes, that's a KA1100. So that one's been out for a little while now, not too long, but that's our um, stereo subwoofer amplifier. So we made that to get the most out of our Cyclonics 11 and 12s and also our MX5 and 10. So we've made it nice and easy where you put that into the system and literally press a couple of buttons and that will set it up with the filters and everything that's required to match up to that uh, product to get the most out of it. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. Um, I use it in my setup for my MX-10 subs. Yeah. works really well. Yeah. yeah, one of the things we've really, really sort of looked at what we wanted out of the product. We didn't want it to be loud. We didn't want fans in it, so it's fanless. We want it to have a nice aesthetic look, so we put the magnetic magnetic um, fascia on the front of it so it can you know can go in your lounge room and still look really nice um, yeah and just have all those features that weren't necessarily you might get one or two of the features that we wanted um, but you'd it'd kind of be missing something else so we thought no let's make something that does exactly what we want it to uh, and is perfect match for our um, MX and SX systems so do you have any plans to make for say the bigger sub, the, like the MX20 and MX30, yeah. MX40? Yeah, we're planning on, it's not gonna be anytime really soon, but we are planning on having a, a model up from that that will do the MX20 and then the MX30 and 40. So essentially Cyclonics 15 and Cyclonics 18 as well. Yep. And it will have the same feature set where you can just set the parameters and away it goes um, with the click of a button. Uh, and it'll have, the, um, have more power to drive those subwoofers as well. So. Very good. And then lastly, we've got, um, the Trinov. Yep, so we brought along an altitude 16 and also an amplitude 16. So um, the combo between these two is just fantastic. The amplitude 16, especially which is a little bit newer, 16 channels in the one um, unit uh, is just fantastic. Um, we have been getting a lot of, like with waveforming um, progressing, the amount of sort of inquiries and people who currently have Trinovs sort of wanting to find out, you know, where that's going and they're pretty excited about it. So. Um, yeah, that we thought we'd bring that here and, and the mic and just chat to people about it because waveforming's uh, really starting to yeah to be the talk of the town, which is nice. So, yeah. yeah, guys, I'll leave a card up above. You can check out the 
video that I did of IC 2023 yeah. where I went with Michael over to Spain in Barcelona and we had the first looks at waveforming before it was called waveforming. Yes, didn't have a name then. <laughs> so yeah, so we brought brought that and that's pretty much rounds up our table here. You can only fit so much on the table, but we're looking forward. I mean, next year as well is going to be huge. So it's our 50th anniversary next yeah. year um, and we're hoping to have a, a whole nother launch of some new products, new products. as well. So it's going to be an exciting couple of years for us, especially in our 50th year. Fantastic. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mike. No worries. Guys, I'll leave links down in the description to all of the things showcased here. Um, but that's it for this one. You'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>